Armitage is a fantastic GUI front end for the Metasploit framework developed by Raphael Mach with the goal of helping security professionals better understand hacking and to help them realize the power of Metasploit. For further information about this excellent project, please check the Armitage official website at fastandeasyhacking.com. Now let's see how to use Armitage. Armitage is included in Kali. So all we need to do is to run Armitage from the command prompt. We can just accept the default options for this window and click on the connect button. Click yes to start the Metasploit RPC server. The Armitage user interface has three main panels, modules, targets, and tabs. You may click the area between these panels to resize them to your liking. The module browser lets you launch a Metasploit auxiliary module through an exploit or generate a payload and run a post-exploitation module. The targets panel shows your targets. Armitage represents each target as a computer with its IP address and other information about it below the computer icon. In my case, Armitage already identified two hosts from previous Metasploit sessions. If you have a lot of hosts, the graph view becomes difficult to work with. For this situation, Armitage has a table view instead. Go to Armitage menu item then set target view and select the table view option. Now down here we have the tabs area. Armitage opens each dialog console and table in a tab below the module and target panels. Metasploit console or meterpreter console and shell interfaces each use a console tab. A console tab lets you interact with these interfaces through Armitage. If you want to open a new console, go to the view menu and select console. Armitage logs all console, shell, and event log output for you. It organizes these logs by date and host. You will find these logs in the Armitage folder. Go to View, then Reporting, select the activity logs to open this folder. Now let's say you want to export everything you have done in this application. Armitage and Metasploit share a database to track your hosts, services, vulnerabilities, credentials, and user agent strings captured by browser exploit modules. To get all this information, go to View, Reporting, then click on Export Data. This option will export data from Metasploit and create easily parsable XML and tab-separated value files. Now let's close this and talk about workspaces. Armitage Dynamic Workspaces feature allows you to create views into the host database and quickly switch between them. To understand what I'm talking about, select the Workspaces menu, then click on Manage. To manage your dynamic workspaces, here you may add edit and remove workspaces you already create. Now let's start an attack. Armitage bundles several Metasploit scans into one feature called 
MSF scans. This feature will scan for a handful of open parts, like a map. It then enumerates several common services using Metasploit auxiliary modules built for the purpose. For our example, we will be attacking the Windows XP machine. I will select it, right click, then click on scan. You may also go to hosts menu and click on MSF scans. Both will give you the same functionality. After the scan is complete and before you can attack, you must choose your weapon. Armitage makes this process so easy. Up here, select the attacks menu and click on find attacks. The find attacks will generate a custom attack menu for each host. To exploit a host, right click navigate to attack and choose an exploit from the list. If you remember from the Meterpreter demo, the MS0867 is a very good candidate, so let's click on it. The exploit launch dialog lets you configure options for a module and choose whether to use a reverse connect payload. For remote exploits, Armitage chooses your payload for you. Generally, Armitage will use Meterpreter for Windows targets and a command shell payload for Unix targets. Check this out. This amazing application already figured out my options. At this moment, all I have to do is to click on the launch button. <laughs> if the exploit is successful, Armitage will make the host red and surrounded with spooky lightning bolts. If manual exploitation fails, don't worry, you have the Hail Mary option. Go to the attacks menu and click on the Hail Mary to launch this feature. Armitage Hail Mary feature is a SmartDB autopawn. It finds exploits relevant to your target, filters the exploits using known information, and then sorts them into an optimal order. This feature won't find every possible shell, but it's a good option if you don't know what else to try. Now let's go back to our victim's host. Armitage makes it easy to manage the meterpreter agent once you successfully exploit a host. Right click the host to access the meterpreter menu. Then select meterpreter and choose whatever you like from the list. For example, I will select the browse files from the list. Check this out. This is the system32 directory on the victim's machine. Let's see one more example. Let's take a screenshot. I hope you enjoyed the show.